Welcome to the Winterberry Wildlife Tech Series. Today we'll be going over some enhancements to the time-lapse mode I've made to my aftermarket firmware for Browning trail cameras. See the description below for pointers to this code. Before we get into enhancements I've made, we first need to understand how the factory firmware handles the time-lapse mode. The Browning Time-Lapse Plus mode, sometimes called Plot Mode, is specifically designed for hunting applications. As such, it offers control of a time-lapse frequency, the interval between photos down to five seconds. A time-lapse period controls when during the day time-lapse photos are taken. This period is referenced to sunrise and sunset. For example, when the time-lapse period is set to two hours, the camera starts taking time-lapse photos at sunrise for two hours and then continues at two hours before sunset to sunset. When all day is selected, the camera takes photos from sunrise to sunset. The factory firmware tracks sunrise and sunset as they change over time. The factory firmware also aggregates time-lapse photos into larger files with the suffix .tls. This is a movie format identical to .avi files. Now that we understand the baseline, let's look at the three features I've added. The first is straightforward. I've added one and two second intervals to the time-lapse frequency menu. This, combined with the seconds level clock granularity I added to the info strip, gives second level precision to time-lapse timestamps. The second feature introduces a new menu called time-lapse file. This new menu controls the format of time-lapse photos. The .tls is the factory firmware setting in which time-lapse photos are aggregated into files of type .tls. In the new setting, .jpg, Time-lapse photos are instead stored as individual JPEG images. The latter can simplify an AI analysis pipeline, which is optimized to handle images rather than videos. In the JPEG format, the EXIF metadata also stores the precise timestamp of each photo. For the third and last feature, I added an all-day-night item to the time-lapse period menu. This will cause the camera to take time-lapse photos 24 hours a day, subject to the setting of the capture timer menu item. The behavior of the flash at night depends on the setting of the time-lapse file menu as follows. In the factory.tls mode, the flash is not used at night, and time-lapse photos are taken in color. This mode will be useful when capturing sunrises and sunsets, in self-illuminating scenes like the aurora borealis, or in sets with external nighttime lighting. If instead .jpg mode is selected, the time-lapse photos taken at night will be in black and white and will use the IR flash. This mode is useful when capturing events which take place at night with no natural light, like the nighttime growth of plants. Note that using the flash at night will consume additional battery power. These new time-lapse features are available for Browning Edge, Elite HP4, and Elite HP5 trail cameras. Please let me know in the comments section below if you use any of these new features. Thanks for watching. Be sure to hit subscribe to see more content on camera trapping technology.